welcome in. This is the Fan Sports Network. We've got a great baseball game in store for you tonight. I'm joined with uh, Keith Curtis. My name is Mark Musgrave, the voice you know. And also producing here is Cannon C. Chris. Yes, if that name rings a bell, that kid played a few ball games on this field. So, but we're ready for Hurricane and Snow Canyon. Um, again, welcome in to our Boulevard Home Game of the Week. Uh, remember, Boulevard Home, they've been making your house a home for the past, let's see, what's this year? 50. 50 years. That's older than us, almost. Well, <laughs> not me. me. Yeah, yeah, Cannon over here is like, hey, hold on, bro. <laughs> um, anyway, we got a great game in store for you tonight. Yesterday, uh, these two teams met up, uh, Keith and it didn't go Hurricanes way, obviously. 24 to nothing. What what does the coaching staff of Hurricane tell their boys today as they go out to face the same team that just beat them 24 to nothing? Well, the, the first thing they say is, that one's over, we're done. Just sweep it out of your brain. Go home and drink an extra Coca-Cola or whatever. Whatever you got to do to flush it, you flush it and you come back with a clear mind and you just say, look, we're going to take it one inning at a time. We're going to get up, you know, just kind of encourage them. Hey, we're going to get a, get a lead on these guys. Mm -hmm. We're going to put pressure on them because, you know, Snow Canyon's going to come in and go, well, that was easy last night. Mm -hmm. We got it easy again tonight, you know. So they're going to get a play down to the competition. Mm -hmm. And so if they can jump on them early, then that momentum will build and build and build. And then the next thing you know, you have a ball game. And, you know, it's actually funny that you say that. I, I saw that same scenario um, not last year, but the year prior, Desert Hills at Hurricane. They they just totally smoked them at Desert Hills. Hurricane came back and actually won that next game. So d definitely the scenario you just threw out there, I've actually seen it happen. Yeah, it, it, can, it happens all the time. And that's why baseball is such a great game because it's, it's, it's what you do that day. Mm -hmm. You know, and with uh, season, MLB season kicking off today, by the way, the Dodgers won, if yep. people didn't know. Yep. I know that'll make you happy. Oh, it did. <laughs> but, uh, you know, it, that's what makes baseball so fun. It's yeah. such a mental game, and and that and that's just the part of the mental thing is you get your butt kicked one day, but then you always have a chance to redeem yourself the next day. And don't, and don't forget, Hurricane's got a good squad. They're five mm -hmm. and four on the year. Yeah, right, exactly. You know, they've got the three of their four losses are from the, you know, two of the better teams within the region. Yep. So I'm not, I'm not saying this one's going to be the same as last night. I think you might get a better ball game tonight than you did last night. Right. Yeah, I, I agree. You know, it's a beautiful night here at Snow Canyon Warrior baseball right here on the on the warrior field here looking out here at the flag the flag is pretty much not doing much it's doing a little tiny bit they're not going to get any wind aided home runs tonight everybody's going to have to earn it tonight for sure um, you know what let's take let's take a, a break uh, for our national anthem we'll come back with the house of jump starting lineups we'll be back here on the fan sports network Discover elegance at the Awning Company. Join us at the St. George Parade of Homes this week. See our exquisite awnings featured in select homes. Elevate your outdoor space with us. Call for a free quote today. Did you know that it costs less to maintain your equipment than to repair it? Yet 90% of breakdowns are caused by system neglect. Give your heating, cooling, and plumbing the care they deserve. For all your air conditioning and plumbing needs, turn to the experts. Hey, it's Marco from Coral Canyon Golf Course inviting you to play the course with the best backdrop in Southern Utah. Make sure you get out and experience great golf for a great price at Coral Canyon. Visit CoralCanyonGolfCourse.com or call us at 435-688-1700 for your tee times. Need an appliance or two? AWP's got you. Check out the remodeled, expansive showroom highlighting the cafe series with colors like matte black, matte white, and modern glass. Make your kitchen stand out. Come see the local boys at AWP across the freeway from the Bloomington Walmart own property and want to rent it, then you need the right team with 11 years of local experience, a staff of over 25 employees, and a 4.9 Google rating. Aim to maximize your rental income and find quality tenants while keeping turnover low to increase your revenue and truly maintain your property. Learn more at redrockpropertymanagement.com. Create your own relaxing, comfortable space. Boulevard Home offers the guaranteed best prices on furniture, appliances, mattresses, and more. And buy with no interest financing. Shop Boulevard Home because home is who we are. Did you know that St. George News has a new app? 
Download the St. George News app today and stay up to date on everything happening in Southern Utah. Get instant notifications on news, weather, sports, and more. Download the app today and get your local news now. Got a project at work or around the house? Well, think Bucks Ace Hardware. Think Bucks for all the top brands like DeWalt, Milwaukee, and Still. Plus, Bucks has the best sporting goods department. You've got to see their gun department. It's stocked with a great selection of guns and ammo and accessories. Two locations at the Dino Crossing in St. George or State Street in Hurricane. Inspired design. Ultra quiet operation. To you, it's a bright evolution cooling system. To us, it's the ultimate machine. All set. For the dealer nearest you, visit Bryant.com. We are Utah's financial outfitter, and we're here when it's time for your business to climb higher. Guest Valley Bank. Mountains away. Member FDIC, Equal Housing Lender. Your child's sports journey starts with the City of St. George Recreation. From their first steps on the quarter field to becoming a star player, our youth sports programs are here to develop talents and teamwork skills. So get out and play. Check out all the sports and get signed up at sgcityrec.org. And welcome back here to Snow Canyon High School where we're getting set to watch the Snow Canyon Warriors take on the Hurricane Tigers. Again, yesterday, uh, a big win for the Warriors, 24 to nothing over the Tigers. Let's go ahead and, and uh, go through the House of Jump starting lineup. Batting first for the Tigers, shortstop Caleb Pearson. Um, batting second in the two-hole will be your pitcher, Bryson McCauley. Right field Manny Santos will bat third. Designated hitter Luke Hershey batting in the cleanup spot for the Tigers. Third baseman Zane Staley will bat next in the sixth spot. You've got the uh, second baseman Landon Stewart, followed by catcher Ryder Alanis. Left fielder Aaron Gonzalez will bat eighth and batting ninth will be first baseman Jack Fitzgerald. Um, Keith, what's your take here early on in the Region 9 and, and looking at some of these scores? Last night, there were 61 runs scored between the three games last night in Region 9. Yeah, that, that's a lot of runs, you know, early in the season. And it's just uh, the region has got three or four teams that are top heavy. And so when you get those matchups that are favorable, it's easy to see where the offense can be explosive. But uh, we should see f some fireworks here tonight, Mark. Yeah. On the bump for the Warriors is Dewey Gibb uh, Jr. wearing my favorite number, number 32. Ooh, you like 32. OJ okay, Simpson number there, huh? Yeah, well, <laughs> has way more to do with Sandy Koufax. Oh, okay. okay. Marcus Allen, Magic Johnson. Um, we got a 2 0 count, uh, actually, 1 and 1 here. Dewey Gibb delivers high ball two is what I'm seeing here. Yeah, he fouled off the first pitch, so you got a two right count going. Gibbs sets, delivers. Swing foul ball straight back. You know, Mark, I'm curious to see how these Hurricane Tiger players respond tonight, because they got some dudes that, you know, like this Pearson kid, mm -hmm. he's hitting 357 on the year. Really nice average, gets on base a lot. Um, you know, they've got some guys that, you know, throughout the lineup are over 300 on yeah. the year, so they can put the bat on the wall. Swing and a miss. Down goes the leadoff batter, Caleb Pearson, for the Tigers. Next up, here we have Bryson McCauley, uh, pitcher. So he's uh, going up against his counterpart here. Left-handed batter. That was a good fastball by Gibb, too, to elevate on that. Mm -hmm. It's a tough pitch to hit. He sets, delivers. Outside ball one. Yeah, that's a good point. That's good location on the uh, pitch. As far as that goes, it's a, when the batter gets behind in the count, it's hard to get up to that. High ball two. And it looks so good up there, too. I mean, that's the thing that I've always said as a hitter. Those look like beach balls floating in, but they're a lot harder to hit than you think. <laughs> that's for sure. Gibbs sets, delivers right down the middle. Strike one. Boy, Gibb, he's just come out throwing BBs. He's hasn't, uh, haven't seen much off speed just yet, and looks pretty good. 
delivers one more time. Must have been just up for ball three. Three and one here. You mentioned Gibbett Jr. He's a big, yeah. solid kid on the mound. Got a nice frame on him. Down low, ball four. Tigers have their first base runner of the night. Second batter up. Yeah, he's got some good velo for a junior, for sure. Uh, it'll be interesting to see how he develops when he heads into his senior year next year. But yeah. definitely something big for the Warriors coming up, especially getting a start on their first region uh, week. Well, and as you know, with the new pitching rules that have been in place the last couple of years, you got to have arms. And so, mm -hmm. you know, it's great that he can get some innings in here and get some confidence going. Yeah. Lincoln Lofthouse came in to a pinch run for the Tigers. So it looks like a little bit more speed out there at first base. Gibbs sets, delivers. Big swing by the big left-hander, uh, Manny Santos. He was uh, looking to send that ball <laughs> out of here. I just pulled the string on him with a change up mm -hmm. there. Great pitch. Big hack by the lefty, but just dropped out of the zone of his bat. Checking loft house over at first. You know, I like how Santos went in there, though. He's seen nothing but fastball, fastball, fastball. So he was expecting it, but mm -hmm. uh, it was a great pitch, as you mentioned. Gibbs sets, delivers. He, Santos puts the bunt down. Gibbs grabs it, throws it to first, and gets that out. That's a smart play that, uh, you know, Gibb didn't look at second. He just took the ball, went right to uh, the out at first base. Take what they're going to give you. I think he had time to get him at second. is inside and Hershey just big enough fast enough to get that bat around to get a piece of it yeah Gibb looking in loft house at second Gibb sets delivers Ooh. oh that must have just Ooh. been off of the plate that looked really juicy from up here not trying to be a snow canyon homer but that looked I'm good. with you I'm <laughs> with you Gibb looks again Checks Loft House a second. Oh. It's called time, stepped out. Okay. Umpire gave him time there. You know, um, Cannon, you're the most recent one to play high school baseball here. When do you think that uh, the umpire should not allow a timeout called by the batter? Honestly, even being a pitcher, I feel like he should give it to the batter. And Hershey swings and a miss, drop third strike, but throws down to first to get the out. Um, I'm going to talk more about that when we come back. Let's just take a break here on the Fan Sports Network. We love giving back to our community. And over the years, we have provided vehicles for families in need, supported local charities, and helped train our first responders. Dealer Collision, your place for collision repair. As a local business owner, it's important to get the word out about your business. More people equals more revenue for you. Get your business in front of over 160,000 people in southern Utah each week with St. George News. Contact St. George News today. Fabulous Freddy's is the local's choice for a full-service car wash. It's fast. Have your car washed in just 20 minutes or less. Fabulous Freddy's always keeps it clean inside and out with two southern Utah locations as well as in Vegas, Lehigh, and San Andy. Remember when Down East was all scratch and dent furniture? Your go-to for dorm rooms, kids' rooms, and first homes? Well, the times have changed, and Down East has changed with you. 
Down East is proud to offer our beautiful collection of high quality furniture designed to elevate your space and make a statement. From stylish sofas and dining tables to cozy bedroom collections. If you're All right, we're back here at Snow Canyon. Mark Musgrave here with Keith Curtis and Ken and Seacrest kind of running everything here for us, doing the producing on the, the uh, video. And also we want to shout out to Connor back in the fan sports studio, studio um, producing from back there. So again, we, we appreciate it. It takes a, a team of people to bring you guys baseball. Those of you that can't make it out here, but uh, may, might want to uh, follow along. Maybe it's your friend, neighbor, nephew, whatever. So anyways, we got Mikhail Swenson leading off for the Warriors. Lefty comes in, puts it right down the middle for a strike. Mark Swenson on the air is hitting 480. Mm. Just tearing the cover off the ball early in the year. Here. Yeah. Lefty McCauley sets, delivers, foul back. It's a fabulous Freddy's foul ball. Say that fast a few times. We're all getting in trouble. <laughs> Man. McCauley's a big lefty out there. Yeah, and he reaches back, throws hard, too. Oh, Swenson with a line drive down the right field line. It's down for a hit. He's trying to stretch it out for a double. In comes the throw, and he's going to slide in safe. Boy, he stays hot, Mark, and that just finds enough real estate down that right field line. And just like that, runners in scoring position for the Warriors. There's our Red Rock real estate. You can see where he just line drive that ball. And he never once thought about holding up for a single. Yep, got a good fastball middle away there. Uh, sat back on it just long enough to get himself a nice double down the right field line. Good piece of hitting by Swenson there. Here comes second baseman, left-handed hitter. Throws right, bats left. Damon Itz stepping into the box to face the big lefty. You got Swenson at second base. So he's got an RBI potential here. And does. He sets, delivers. Nice off-speed pitch right there to ends for a strike. Yep, great breaker right there. Snow Canyon, good fastball hitting team, so it's good to keep them off balance. Mm -hmm. So if he can keep that pitch in the mix, he could be pretty dominant tonight. McCauley delivers. Mm, just misses. A Boy, I like that placement, though. Tight and inside. Mm -hmm. After throwing that breaker, you know, he's going to be looking for it, and, and that's a great way to foul up the hitter right there. One and one's the count. Swenson is second. No outs. McCauley sets, delivers. Off speed again. Ends kind of stayed back on a little bit. Got out in front of it a little bit. High fly ball to center. Catch is made. And Tigers get it in. No advancement for Swenson. No! Or another off-speed pitch that time. Mm -hmm. and he was out in front of it just a little was, bit. That weight transfer got him a little bit and, uh, you know, popped it up. And uh, got one down here in the first uh, bottom of the first. Another lefty. Ryder Harrison stepping in, center fielder. Or left fielder, sorry about that. McCauley trying to work out of a little bit of first inning trouble. Big swing by... Harrison, left fielder chasing it down, can't get it, it drops. Swenson's going to round third and score. And Harrison will hold up at second. Let me take a look at this one right here. The outfielders are playing him so deep because mm -hmm. in the game yesterday, Harrison had two triples that he hit over their heads. So that was a long run for the left fielder out there mm. to make that play. Yeah. He just couldn't get to it. It's one of those, though, where McCauley's looking at himself going, okay, induced a fly ball. Yes. I got to get that out. Yes. And I, instead, unfortunately, I, I'm curious to see how they're going to score that. Yeah. Well, they gave him a hit, so. Mm. That's the home book right there. That's, the <laughs> That's why you hit 232. <laughs> see, see, Chris steps in. Crew see, Chris looks at an off-speed pitch for strike one from McCauley. Cannon, what's crew like at home? Oh, you know, he's a he's a great kid. I uh, real re, a lot of he's too. a lot like me. We have I got two I got three other brothers. I got yeah. Brogan, I got Brock, and then I got Crew. Mm -hmm. And uh, I would say Crew is probably the most like me. Pretty outgoing, and uh, yeah, I mean he's he's a much better ball player than I was for sure. But okay. 
Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll nod my cap to him. I think I was probably the worst high school baseball player <laughs> out of my family. Oh, I, think, I don't know. I think I put a little bit when I got on to, when I went on to play college baseball, but for sure in high school, I think I was probably bottom. McCauley has a 2-1 count here, the big lefty. Dylan to Cruz Seacrest. Looks like bowl, low, a ball three, three and one the count. I didn't know Cannon would be so hard on him. I know, he really <laughs> is, man. Or he, he's just ultra humble. <laughs> well, I'm done playing now, so I want to see my little brother do good. So. McCauley, low, ball four, Seacrest takes a free base. Well, I believe your brother's been playing since he was a freshman, right? Or, or sophomore, he's been starting for your dad? Uh, yeah, he played, I think he got a few at bats when he was a freshman, but he's been starting since he was a sophomore. Mm -hmm. And I didn't start until I was a junior. I was the only, uh, I was the only one that didn't start until they were a junior. So really? all my other brothers started when they were sophomores, but. But you're the oldest, right? Nope, I got my older brother, oh. Brogan, too. Oh, Brogan so. was older, okay. Yep. Well, two on, one out. Hard ground ball foul for strike one. Hayden Smith, the hitter. Another warrior that's hitting over 400. He's hitting 435 on the season and, and, mark. And, and, and coming as a catcher, that you know the position that's the hardest on your body. Yeah. Uh, he takes outside ball one. One and one the count to Hayden. And he's a phenomenal catcher back there too. He, he's a wall back there most of the time. I think he handles this warrior pitching staff. That's trouble. That is trouble. That's gonna find a go. Oh! What a play. I thought there was no way he was gonna be able to get to that mark. That was in the right center gap and all of a sudden he just flicks his mid out. And Parker, grab. Parker Selby, look at this replay here. He went a long way for this. This is our the end. Red Rock Real Estate replay. Wow. <laughs> Flips the glove out for a nice little basket catch out there. That's got to be a, a nominee for our Mountainland Supply defensive play of the game. Wow. Yeah, that was beautiful. Nice job, Selby. Parker Selby out there in center field. Here we go, Tank. Tank Kelly now at the plate, ball, takes ball one. McCauley still trying to get out of trouble here. He sets, delivers low, ball two. Boy, if McCauley could get out of this inning with only one oh. run, that yeah. would be huge. That would be amazing. Holly sets, delivers, spikes it right there at the plate for a ball. 2-0 the count here. Looked like a changeup right there. Maybe better in an 0-2 count rather than a 2-0. Yes. But um, now we go down to a 3-0 count, count. And he's got to battle all the way back. Yes, now. exactly. And I'm sure Tank has a green light here. But no need. High ball four. Bases loaded now. Two outs. McCauley just trying to get that last out here of the inning to try to escape. Like Keith, you said, with only one run. Yeah, and in reality, if the left fielder could have made that play, they'd be out of the inning and it'd yes, be a 0 0 game. Exactly. So. Yeah. This is a big at bat right here if you're the Tigers and a Tiger fan listening at home. If they can get out of the inning, you know, with bases loaded and, and only one run in, yeah. it'd be huge. John Paul Rowley takes a called strike. Nice little breaking ball there. Those are always good to get over uh, the plate for the first pitch. Not a lot of people sitting on a first mm -hmm. pitch breaker, so you'll take what you can get with those. Oh, hard ground ball. That's going to find the hole between first and second. That's going to score one and two runs come across. Big time hit by Rowley. 
Boy, Roley just took that outer half pitch and drove it to right field, and just like that, two more runs are in, so. Here's our Red Rock Real Estate replay. Just found that hole, and again, you know, when you're thinking about McCauley, you're like, here I've gotten some fly balls. I got a ground ball right there. It did find the hole. Yes, it was hit hard, but, um, you know, as a pitcher, that's what you want. You want to, you know, get those ground balls. You want to yeah. get those pop flies, and... Well, and the thing about that, too, is, uh, you know, it's, uh, it's just a good piece of hitting. He mm -hmm. just, ball was out or half, so we went with it, didn't try to pull it, and found the right spot. Andrew Lyon steps in, and he hits a hard liner. That's going to find some grass. And that's going to be a double for Lyon. Second and third now. RBI, four to nothing Warriors here. Bottom of the first. It's kind of like they continued from last night. Yeah, once they started getting a couple of hits back to back, mm -hmm. you can just see the confidence grow in the lineup. And you know, out here we're at the bottom half of the lineup and it's just erupting now. Yes. Now Corbin Haven has a chance. He's got two RBI sitting out there. It's second and third. He's got two outs. See if McCauley can't kind of minimize the damage here. I say that it's four nothing, but uh, you know, with one more hit and it could be six. Yeah, this could be uh, a big, big at bat. With two outs, the runners are going to be going on contact. Uh, scoreboard just went out, but I think it's two and zero oh is the count. Scoreboard is dark right now. <laughs> Somebody plug it back in. McCauley sets delivers right down the pipe for a strike. Two and one the count. And he's been he's been living up in the zone lately, and that's kind of what's been biting him in the butt uh, these past couple at bats. Mm -hmm. He's just been leaving the ball up, and the Warriors have been able to uh, do some damage with those yeah. balls. It's going to be a. And that's probably what this talk is right now. Yeah, you just going to calm him down. Hey, man, yep. let's start working the bottom of the zone. Let's get a ground ball and let's get out of this inning. Yeah, the uh, Tiger catcher goes out to talk to McCauley, kind of calm him down a little bit, get his heart rate down. That's a Udine Associates mound visit. Again, thank you to all of our sponsors, Udine Associates being one of them. Well, there you must have flipped the breaker because now the there we scoreboard's go. going again. A oh, big swing right up the middle. About takes McCauley out. That's going to score two. And he's going to stretch that out to a double. And he is out, but not before the two-run score. Six to nothing here at the end of one. Cannon, what was he thinking right there? I mean, he just got a little bit greedy, you know. <laughs> you love to pick up the two RBIs. You did your job, and now, you know, I, I'm thinking he was expecting them to try and throw him out at home. True, yeah. And he just tried to take the extra bag. Right. The uh, Tigers did a good job of cutting it off and yep. uh, getting that out at second base to get him out of the end. Well, let's take a break here. We'll be back uh, for the top of the second here on the Fan Sports Network. The Fan Sports Network is your home for local sports. Catch the drive with Devin Dixon from 7 to 9 and from the bleachers with Caden Foremaster and Mark Musgrave from 4 to 6. Plus, Utah Tech and high school sports live on the radio and streaming on the fansportsnetwork.com. Everyone loves local sports and, of course, loves ice cream. And the best ice cream on the planet is Handel's Homemade Ice Cream. Open late every day of the week with dozens of delicious flavors. So after your favorite team wins, head over to Handel's to celebrate with locations in St. George, Layton, and Woods now. Cross. We're back here live at Snow Canyon High School. Tigers, Warriors here on a beautiful night for baseball. I was out to, I was outside today. Um, Gibbs sets, delivers, a ground ball, fabulous very ground ball down past third. Um, and today was one of those days where you said, this is why we live here. Yeah, it was absolutely beautiful, about 74 degrees. Oh my goodness. No clouds in the sky and just fantastic weather. Gibb releases high for ball two. Oh, actually one and one. One and one is the count. I can't remember your name. I 
You know, I high bump too. We get a little spoiled living down here. Over the weekend, I went north mm -hmm. to, to central Utah. Why would you do that? <laughs> I had to. Go, there was a snowdrift in our cabin, yeah. and I couldn't get in. I had to haul everything in. Give uh, delivers high for ball three. I'm like, this is why I live in St. George. Yeah. I don't want to. Exactly. Gib pitching out of the out of the windup sets delivers foul ball back. Back to a full count now. Uh, Dewey started off this at bat, kind of dug himself into a hole, just trying to overthrow his fastball a little bit. Everything was up. This is Staley. Staley with a nice contact. Is that going to get down? Oh, nice sliding catch out there by the right fielder. Mikhail Swenson. Mikhail. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Mikhail, he just nonchalantly made it look so yeah. easy. He wasn't worried at all, but that was a well-played ball. Red Rock Real Estate replay showed that uh, he's smooth. Yeah. All right, well, we got one out here. Gibbs sets, delivers, and called strike. Landon Stewart facing the big right-hander now. Stewart says, I'm ready, ump. Gibbs sets, delivers. Low and out for ball one. One and one to count. Six to nothing here. Top of the first, Warriors up over the Tigers. Gibb delivers, swing and a miss. Or the big righty just reached back and just brought the heat on that one, jammed him inside. That's a good pitch right there. One thing I love about Gibb, too, that I'm noticing, he delivers off speed, sit down, strike out. One thing that I'm, I'm noticing about 11, right. Gibb that I really like is his tempo. Yeah. He gets that ball back from, from uh, Hayden, and he's ready to go. He doesn't walk around the mound. Um, he is ready to go. He's in rhythm. And you love that as a fielder too. Mm -hmm. When your when your pitcher's working quick and stuff and throwing strikes, um, it's a lot it's a lot easier to play the field for a guy like that. Gibbs sets delivered ball two two and all the count here. Well, the pace of the game just keeps going. Yeah, and it, you know baseball can ebb and flow and be really slow at times. They love playing behind a guy that just gets in there and throws strikes. Ryder Elena's big foul ball. It's a fabulous ready foul ball. Landed right on top of us. I was ready. You were. You had your, your hands were up. Hand was up. Elanis, the catcher for the Tigers. Big swing and a miss. Good fastball right there. His velo looks like it's it's up a little bit from his first inning. I mean, he's throwing hard. He still is a little bit up in the zone, mm -hmm. but it hasn't hurt him yet. Foul back. I wouldn't be surprised he'd go off speed here. He's thrown two nice mm -hmm. fastballs, and he could probably drop one on the outer half and get him. And, you know, he's got a pitch to waste also, too, if he kind of spikes it in the dirt. It's two and two. Yeah. Two outs. This is a great time to throw that off speed. But he goes fastball just off the plate for ball three. See, that's why we don't coach. We don't know what's going on. <laughs> <laughs> it's not bad. You try and get him, extend the zone a little bit on the outside corner, try and get a swing on it. And ball four. Uh, Base runner for the Tigers. Great job by the catcher to just work the count to his favor and just like that and gets on base. And Keith, I got to tell you, I'm not afraid to go up against Brandon Lyon and say, an, an ex MLB player, and say, what is your pitch calling? What's going on, bro? <laughs> I'll let you do that. Okay. <laughs> Brandon, good dude down there, pitching coach for the Warriors. He'll just pull out his report card and show you everything he's done. <laughs> You know, funny story I'll tell you here in a little bit uh, that includes Brandon. So one on, two out. Gibbs sets, delivers, called strike. A little generous on the zone there. Looked down yeah, a little kind of was. Uh, they gave him the, the strike, so. This is Aaron Gonzalez, I believe. Gibbs pitch out for ball one. One and one the count. Again, six to nothing here. Top of the first. Warriors jumped out to a, they scored six runs in the bottom of the first. And another called strike. That one's right down the pipe. Yeah, good fastball right there. 
It's a good setup. Now drop in that curveball down in the mm -hmm. dirt and try and get a swing and miss here. Again, another great count to do that. Let's see if uh, Coach Lyon calls out. He does. Ooh, Ooh, wow. That's a that's a knee bit. Of, that bent my knees right there, Cannon. That Just was... a little off the plate, I guess. That was a great pitch, though. It wasn't a strike, but still a great pitch. Yep, on the replay, just a little bit off the plate. Two and two the count. Gibb checks the runner at first. And as a pitcher, he takes the slider on the outside corner, go right back with the fastball, same spot for a strike, see if he takes that one. And he did, there swing and go. a miss. Swing and a miss. That is an S and S mechanical strikeout. Tied so, him up on the hands right there. Great pitch. We're going to the bottom of the second here. Six to nothing, Warriors. Warriors looking to add to their lead here on the Fan Sports Network. Red Rock Real Estate has over 200 professional realtors in the St. George area that specialize in the local market. Whether you're buying your dream home, looking for an investment property, or want to sell your home for the highest amount, the Red Rock Real Estate team is here to assist you. Get started now by visiting redrockrealestate.com. Don't miss our big anniversary sale at Patio Furniture. We're offering the biggest savings of the year. From umbrellas to sofa set to accessories, don't miss out on our anniversary sale from February 15th through the 24th. Visit our new showroom today. House of Jump is Southern Utah's only indoor trampoline park and your only place to jump, dunk, and dodge. Head on over to our house, the House of Jump. All right, we're here at Snow Canyon High School. Beautiful night for baseball. You know, we, we get to look east here and uh, it's it's a great shot. You got the Black Mountain uh, that separates, you know, Bluff Street and Valley View Drive that we're looking at. Uh, just a gorgeous view here at Snow Canyon. I like how they have the grass hill over there on the uh, third base side where people can kind of just throw a blanket down and chill. Really the only really the only park that you can do that here in Region 9. Yeah. Kind of cool. Well, such a beautiful setup with the red rock behind you, and then, you know, the, the grass is popping mm -hmm. early spring here. It's just beautiful. Yep. Well, Macaulay's still out there. Off speed, ball one. The grass is popping. The turf is popping. <laughs> Mitts are popping. <laughs> what a great time of year. Nice little breaker there. Yeah. Just a little bit low. Yeah, low. 2-0 the count here. McCauley delivers. Big swing, fouled right back. Yeah, Swenson, he's up there. He doesn't get cheated, does he? He gets a nice rip every time he's up there. Yeah, he's the leadoff hitter, and he, uh, he jumps on a lot of first pitch fastballs, even in his first bat. Again, another fabulous Freddy's foul ball over here behind first base. And that's something you don't see a, a whole lot from a lot of leadoffs. Uh, most leadoffs get up there and try and see as many pitches as they can, try and get their guy, whoever's thrown, to throw uh, every pitch they have in their arsenal. But he likes to jump on that fastball, and I don't mind that. McCauley sets delivered. Ground ball should be handled by the shortstop. He grounds it, fails it, throws it, and he is out. Close play there at first, though. Yeah. Swenson really hustled down the line here. Look how close he makes this here, Keith. It's it's within. Uh, it's a high chopper. Yeah. But it, it, the shortstop didn't get much on the throw, and it was yeah. just in just, time. Boy, that was that was close. I'm surprised Coach Seacrest isn't. Uh, he, he might be chirping down there. I'm not sure, <laughs> but that was a close, close call. Well, if you're McCauley too, he's like, dude, we got to have that out a little yes. bit more mm -hmm. secure. McCauley sets and delivers to to Damon Ants here. Ants is 0 for 1 today. And another one, right? Man, a little off speeds right there for a, for strike two. Kind of catching uh, Damon off balance there a little bit. I don't think he was expecting that. Yeah, McCauley likes to go with the curveball to the left-handed hitters. It's been working for him nicely. He's been able to drop him in. Here he goes again. Fastball fouled off. Kind of a check swing foul ball. Another great sequence right there. Curveball in, then he goes with the fastball in. That's tough to get around on. Mm -hmm. Wouldn't be surprised to see if he goes low now because he set him up hitting mm -hmm. him high just to get, change that eye level. 
McCauley delivers off speed again. Ooh. Must have just been inside off the plate. That's a good pitch. Yeah, just a little yeah. bit in. And it's now one to the count. One ball, two strikes, one out. McCauley delivers. Big swing, ground ball up the middle, and it does find some outfield grass for a base hit. Damon Entz now gets his first hit of the game. Just a great piece of hitting. That ball was up, and he was able to get enough on the barrel around and push it right past the pitcher. Deflected off of McCauley's glove. I didn't see that in the live action, but watching the Red Rock Real Estate replay, he got his glove on it, but he deflected it. And that sequence, he went back to back with that. He went curveball, fastball in, and it worked. Then he went curveball again in, and then he tried to go fastball in, and Entz was all over it, just driving it up the middle. So good piece of hitting there by Entz and awareness of the game. Yeah to how he was going to throw. Another li little meeting on the mound by the catcher for the Tigers. And again, that meeting brought to you by UD and Associates. Again, we have great sponsors that certainly help us come out and bring these games to you. Um, you know, like Red Rock Real Estate, s, &S Mechanical, Fabulous Freddy's, Wilkinson's, down East Clothing, Patio Furniture, Cash Valley Bank, Dealer Collision. We've got some great sponsors that certainly help us do what we do. McCauley delivers, line drive out to left field. That's going to drop for a hit. Kind of fumbled around a little bit. Left fielder having a hard time getting his feet underneath him. I believe that's, that should probably be charged as a single with an error. Yeah, and the I, advancement of the runners. I think it will, and this is why Ryder Harrison is one of the best hitters in Region 9. Uh, pitch on the outside part of the plate. He just does such a good job of hitting the ball the other way. He's not trying to pull everything. He has the power to go hit a home run to right field for sure, but he also has some power to hit him out to left too, and so yeah. he'll take it where it's pitched. Well, that's a, that's a great sign of a good hitter. Is he can go any direction in the field wherever the ball's placed, and as you mentioned, he's, he's been around for the last three years and it's got a lot of experience and comes up big almost all the time, it seems like. McCauley ball one to Seacrest. I mean, he's already got two hits on the night and he's hitting 409 on the year. So That's, that average yeah. is only going up. Yep, for sure. Nice block back there by Elanis, by the way. Or, I mean, that saved a run. McCauley called strike on the outside corner nice pitch there again by the big lefty really good backdoor curveball there those are a lot of hitters give up on those and that's what you saw crew do right there is just kind of gave up on it and dropped it right in the zone for that backside corner when it won the count he sets delivers low ball two you know and we always told i always told my players you know, hey, we're hunting fastballs. I mean, it's, a, it's an 0-1 count right now. That's not the ball you want to hit, crew. Mm -hmm. That's not the ball. And he did the wise thing, let it go. He's hunting fastballs. Yep, think fastball, just slow. Yep. McCauley delivers. Oh, check swing. Did he go? Oh, yeah. Oh, no. No. <laughs> Tiger fans kind of uh, a little bit of a groan out there. Yeah, it looked like a swing to me. <laughs> that's your, and that's blood talking. <laughs> I was going to say, from my angle, I got a little bit better angle. I'm a little more down from you guys. That definitely went halfway across uh, the plate. McCauley delivers off oh, speed, nice. strike two. Full count here. McCauley's worked it back to a full count. That backdoor curveball's been working for him. I don't know why you wouldn't go back there again. Uh -huh. And again, he delivers. It, it was the off-speed ground ball. Takes a crazy hop over the shortstop. That's going to score two. Seacrest on his way to second, and he's going to stand up there at second base with a double. I don't know if that's going to be charged as an as a error or not. Let's see this hit here. Uh, oh, that took some serious hop. I mean, the exit velocity on that ball was hard. Man. So, like I said, it's a home book. You're probably going to see a hit flash and out there. I don't know if it hit the shortstop's glove or not. And I think I'm okay with the hit. Like, I'm really kind of strict. I, I, I give the, the fielders I'm, – I'm a little tougher on the fielders. Plays they should make. And even if they're hard hits, to me, they're errors. Mm -hmm. That, though, I – 
Well, he didn't have to move, though, Mark. I got I know. a little bit. It's hit right Are you him. thinking error? Yeah. And I'm, uh, I'm going to say I'm a pitcher, and that's not a hit. No. You can't put that, you can't put that on my uh, stats. Yeah. That's, that's an error. I agree. Sorry, Mark. <laughs> hey, I, that took a crazy, crazy hop, though. It wasn't anything that the shortstop did wrong. There was, there was literally no chance of him fielding that ball. Yeah, he, I mean, it was peppered pretty good. But, again, he was in fielding position. The ball, usually at short, that's the guy that can, you know, go backhand and go at the middle or whatever. Oh, yeah, we got a pitching change. Sorry, he was... New pitchers come in, they pulled McCauley now, but I just, you know, the reaction time, you'd think he'd be able to get the mid up and snag that or at least get a mid on it. I don't know. Maybe I'm too hard on the kid. No, I think I think definitely as a pitcher, I mean, it was hit hard, but you're expecting that to be made if it's hit right at somebody. Tough, tough bounce for sure. Yeah. New pitcher, John Raditz for the Tigers, right-hander. We'll just, just we'll just keep it right here as he warms up here and just kind of chit chat and he's just a sophomore this Raditz kid so he's a young one getting some some valuable innings here in Region Nine I mean that'll only be better for him as he gets older and Macaulay too I thought he threw pretty well for Hurricane he's just a junior mm -hmm. too so they've got some arms it looks like that they can work with mm -hmm. here coming up yeah some for sure talent uh, our Wilkinson scoreboard update is eight to nothing here. At Snow Canyon, I'm going to try to get some updates on some other scores here around the region. And Hurricanes dipping a little bit into their, their bullpen. They threw, I want to say it was four or five guys in the game last night. Mm -hmm. And I'm pretty sure they have games this weekend too, as mm -hmm. well as I think most teams are playing in a tournament this weekend. And so they're probably going to be getting deep into that bullpen as it comes this rest of this week. Bottom of the second over at Crimson Cliffs. It's 0-0. Bases loaded, though. Two outs. Parker Andrus is up. We'll try to keep an update on that with our Wilkinson uh, scoreboard updates. And I'll try to... Uh Get a score from over at Dixie as well here and hopefully update you here soon. But it looks like looks like we're ready to go here. Raditz is all warmed up. And that's going to bring us to Hayden Smith at the plate, who uh, had a nice line drive into right center field that was brought in by Selby out there with that basket catch in the first inning that uh, might be our defensive play of the game. Mm -hmm. Yes. A little Willie Mays action. Yes, it was. Hayden Smith steps into the box to face the, uh, the new pitcher for the Tigers. Okay, I don't mean to revert back to the last at bat by Seacrest. Is that a single and an error or a double? Or the home book gave it a hit, but Radis delivers. Ooh, nice, nice velocity for swing and a miss. The home book gave it a hit, but I think if we were at Hurricane, it would be an error. <laughs> <laughs> well, give crew a double then. <laughs> double and two RBIs. Hey, yeah. I, like, I like the compromise. Single with the advancement on an error to second. <laughs> uh, Raditz pitches. Low and outside for ball one. One and one the count here. Raditz almost drops Smith. down three quarter, you know, coming through on the follow through, and it's got a different whip action on that ball. It's looks like funky. he looks like he has a little bit more velocity than uh, than the left hander that he just replaced McCauley. That first pitch strike to uh, oh, that's a line drive. That's going to score a run. He is rounding third. Easy score for the Warriors. Tigers do. A pretty good job there, though, at least holding Hayden at first base. Boy, Hayden, he just sat on that he, fastball. He was just ready to rip it and got it out in the left field. It was a, a frozen rope yeah. out there. Almost yeah. hit it too hard. He couldn't get a play at home. Yeah, just a little bit too much of the plate on that one. You want to, I mean, it looked like they were trying to go in on Smith there. So it just needs to be about two more balls in. And I think, mm -hmm. I think you would have had him jammed up a little bit, but it just caught too much of the plate and uh, he was able to give it a nice uh, drive into that 5-6 hole. Catcher going over to talk to the coaching staff for just a second for the Tigers. A little quick meeting there from, from Pearson, shortstop for the Tigers. But 
Tink, Tank, Tink, not Tink, Tank. <laughs> tank Kelly steps in. Big, strong kid. Great pitch for a called strike. That's if, a, you, if you would have thrown that one to, to Smith, that would have been a ground out for mm -hmm. Smith. Great pitch right there, down at the knees on the outside corner. Great location. Raditz sets, delivers, off speed. Tank Kelly with the ground ball to second. Fielded, thrown to first for the second out. Oh, that was the right play that time. That was a slow roller to the it second was. baseman in the hole. So the runner does advance, but they do get the out, which is most importantly is they got two now. So hopefully the bleeding can stop for the Tigers. Yeah, for sure. Two outs now. Uh, again, nine to nothing here in the bottom of the second. Warriors up. And here comes uh, Roley for the Warriors. Steps in, tall kid. Raditz sets, delivers, ground ball. Uh, can't, it gets by Raditz. Second baseman, he can't field it either. That's going to score another run, and it never even touched the outfield grass. And that's tough because Raditz did his job on yep. that one. Has a good ground ball. He got him, uh, him and Tank got the last two batters with that slider, yep. and they are both just way out in front of it. Great pitches, but uh, his defense is just hanging him out there. Yeah, that, no question about it. And he was so close to fielding it himself. Himself, and that would have made it a much easier play. Once it got past him, it was going to be a tough play for the second baseman to make that play. It really was, just because of the there was no velocity mm -hmm. on the ball and the great pitch by Raditz, but just just couldn't quite come up with it. Andrew Lyon now stepping in. Had a nice little single into left in his last A-B. God, it's just got to be so tough, though. You know, here we are, the bottom of the second. There is two outs, but just a blink of an eye, and you're down 10 to nothing. Well, and you're coming off a, a 20, last night. Yes, exactly. <laughs> a, a drubbing. First pitch to Lyon. Called strike. 0-1 oh, the count. Two outs, one on. Warriors looking to extend the bottom of the second here. Radis delivers. And that's going to be a ball. Two and one the count. Boy, that just missed the zone there. I like that spot. Yeah, that was good. Can't get hurt down there. Mm -mm. That's the hardest thing to when you're this young, you know, to learn is do you want to live from the right around the knees to the ankles? If yeah. you can keep it there, you're going to keep your team in a lot of games. Yep. That ball is fouled straight up. Is there going to be a play here? No. Out of play. Foul ball. One and two the count. We almost had ourselves a, col a dealer collision it, play of the game. Right that's there. for sure, man. Catchers or first basemen that make that play is pretty good. Yeah, McCauley's got to, you know, talk, be talking a little bit more because they that could have been ugly if it had gotten, you know, head to head or something that way. And if I'm Raditz right now, I'm going back to that slider. It's been so good for you this inning. Um, you got his eye level changed with that high fastball in that last pitch. Yeah. So go something low and slow here. Yeah, I agree. That's the pitch you want right here in this position. And he throws it. <laughs> just, uh, just his arm was lagging a little bit behind that. Didn't quite finish that slider. Yeah, he didn't get the arm whip that he had been getting on the other two, you know, previous pitches. And have some confidence. Go back with it right here. It's your best pitch. Throw it again. Here he goes. Sets, delivers, and hard foul ball. Boy, he pulled that. Almost hit the hit the building over there. I'm glad I parked Past two third. rows behind that. I didn't yeah. have a broken windshield. My goodness. Yeah, he got a hold of that one. I think I'm parked right over there. <laughs> <laughs> go ahead. We know the head coach. <laughs> Rookie you mistake. That, you can hit that car. Two you know, balls, two strikes, two outs, one on. You'd think Cannon would know where to park. He oh. played here for three years. For, <laughs> for sure. Hey, no one could hit it that far when I was in high school. <laughs> hey, he sets the liver, spikes it about three feet in front of the plate, gets past the catcher, Elenis, and uh, runner advances from first to second. You know, one thing we can say about Cannon, though, he is pretty. <laughs> he is pretty. Thanks, Mark. I you appreciate betcha. that. You betcha. 
And you know, I, I do feel bad saying no one could hit it that far because we did have Austin Deming in our, on our team who's oh, now yeah. with oh, yeah. the Padres. And yes. he never hit him over there. He always hit his fair. And that's going to be a line out to the shortstop. They get out of it, but they do give up four more runs here at Snow Canyon. Uh, Tigers, they've got an uphill battle. They're down 10 to nothing to the Warriors here on the Fan Sports Network. First Ace Hardware is conveniently located in St. George on the corner of Bluff Street and St. George Boulevard with 30,000 square feet of lawn and garden, paint, tools, fabrics, sporting goods, and the most complete nut and bolt section in town. First General Store, the big Ace store on Bluff and on Main in Cedar City. This cheesesteak is so freshly grilled, you can still hear it sizzling. I can hear it too. Me too. Actually, it's the... Oh, cheesesteak? Grill. Grill right in front of you. It's a Jersey Mike's thing. When it comes to your child's teeth, Dr. Cody and his experienced staff at Johnson Pediatric Dentistry are game changers. So when it comes to checkups, a toothache, or any problem with your kid's teeth, call experienced veteran Dr. Cody Johnson at Johnson Pediatric Dentistry, 628-0511. We're live back here at Snow Canyon High School. Tigers coming west. Well, it hasn't been good for them like it was the 49ers back in the day when they went and all found gold. What is the Tigers with you and California team? Tigers Mark, still on. have not found gold coming west. <laughs> They're down 10 to nothing to the to the uh, Snow Canyon Warriors. We got to hear about the 49ers, it's, the Dodgers, the Giants even though you hate them, but <laughs> high for ball one, Gibb delivers high for a ball one. One and all the count here. See if the Tigers can get something positive going right down the middle for a strike. See if they can get something going, just some positive momentum here that they can build on. Gibb delivers high for ball two. Still got some life on the fastball as we enter the third inning here. Feels like it's further along than the third inning, but. Mm -hmm. Swing and a miss. Gibb, he's just, again, I just love his tempo. He gets that ball back from Hayden, and he's ready to go. He delivers again, called strike three. Good pitch out in the outside corner right here, just froze him up. Good hard fastball mm -hmm. down around the knees. S and S McCann. Last swing with you. Good breaker right there. Uh, just started outside of the zone and finished outside of the zone. Just a great pitch. Mm -hmm. Gib delivers ball one. That one looked like he took a little off, a little change up there. Mm -hmm. Again, he's set, ready to go again. Delivers again. And There's great contact. It's back, 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 back against the wall. It's going to be off the wall. And he's going to get a stand-up double. McCauley trying to, to help his team out a little bit here. Boy, McCauley, if he goes left or right 20 feet, that's out of here. Yes. Three-fourths of the way up that uh, deep part of center. And, 
Boy, that was a rock. Yeah, Caleb Hafen gave it the best effort that he could, but he just couldn't watch it here and off the wall. Wow. That's going to get the Tigers into the hit column for yes. the, the first one tonight is a double, big double Man. off the wall. Yes, for sure. Now stepping in is Santos. Big left-hander, strong left-hander. Two out, one on. Tigers finally got somebody, like you said, on the base pass. And looking to push them across the plate here with a any type of a single, he should score. It'll be interesting to see how Gibb handles this now. He hadn't been hit on, and, mm -hmm. and so now you got a runner who's kind of toying with them out there and see if it affects his you know, velocity at all on the mound. So it'll be interesting to see. Again, Santos, set left-hander. Takes low ball two. Two and all the count. And you know what? Gibbs should be thinking, I got a 10-run lead right yeah. now. If that guy just, scores, yeah. who cares? So just get up there and throw strikes. Throw strikes, yeah. And you got two outs right now, too. So just get a ground ball and get out of it. Absolutely. Gibbs looking back and forth, delivers. High ball three. I'm with you, Cannon. You know, 10 to nothing. Just pound strikes. Yeah, why are we even giving the guy a yep. second look? Just Absolutely. get up there and throw the ball. Absolutely. And, and I'll bet Coach Lyon will probably have that discussion when he comes back mm -hmm. in, but, but I, I agree 100% with you. Gibb delivers right down the middle for strike one. Well, if you're Santos, that's the pitch you want. That was mm -hmm. that was meat. That was middle up. And I, and I know you want to develop your good habits, but again, you're down ten to nothing. You know this is probably going to be your best pitch to hit. Yeah. I, I would say green light. Well, you haven't scored. And ball four. You know, thirty-four to nothing over the yes, last eight exactly. innings. Exactly. But hey, he got a walk out he of did. it. So there you go. Yep. And. Uh, Smith just goes out to talk to his pitcher. Probably just told him what we were just talking about. Just throw strikes. You're up 10 to nothing. Yeah, I'm just trying to calm him yeah. down a little bit. Yeah. So Luke Hershey steps in for the Tigers. Got a couple of base runners out there. There is two outs. Gibb delivers, and that's exactly what that conversation was because that was a fastball right down the middle. Mm hmm well, and Hershey last at bat, he lined a rope, but it was foul, and mm -hmm. then he got caught on a breaking ball, so I wouldn't be surprised to see him get that here. Foul ball straight back. 0-2 oh, the count. I so think the talk helped because Gibbs now yeah. throwing a couple of BBs, so settled him down just right. 0-2. Oh, this is when you extend that zone a little bit with that, that slider. There it is. Ooh. Must have been just off the plate. Great location, though, for an 0-2 pitch. Yeah, if he's going to go chasing, that's mm -hmm. the perfect spot right there. One and two is the count. Delivers off speed again. Great. again. It doesn't have to be a strike to be a great pitch. That was a great pitch. Hershey laying it off of it, though. Yeah, he's doubled up with him right now. Now you can go back in with that fastball away. Oh, hard line drive again. Just foul, though down the third baseline, out of play. But boy, he got all of it. You can still see he's sitting on that fastball. So what I'm going with right now is a breaker mm -hmm. that is on the plate because I'm just trying to freeze him up now. Deuce is wild. Two balls, two strikes, two outs, two on. Delivers. Oh, called strike three. <laughs> Gibb gets out of it. You see a little motion too as oh, he threw that one. Absolutely. Uh, we're at the middle of the third. Ten to nothing. Warriors looking to add to it. And when they come back here in the bottom of the bottom of the inning, you're listening to the Fan Sports Network. Hey, it's Luke with Uting Associates and American Family Insurance. At Uting Associates, we love insurance so you don't have to. With a quick call, we can get you an instant quote with the right coverages. My team of licensed agents are ready to help you with better insurance from American Family. Give us a call at 435-251-9102. 
Nets on Fire is the place to hoop in Southern Utah. Elevate your game with group or individual training with elite coaching. Hustle to NetsOnFire.org to learn more and see why so many rising stars hoop at Nets. Nets on Fire, building champions on and off the court. At Intermountain Sports Performance, we've been training athletes from Logan to St. George for over 20 years, and we guarantee your athlete will improve speed, agility, explosive power, and reduce the risk of injury while working with the most qualified team in all of Utah. Call 435-251-2299 to find the location nearest you. Hi, I'm Jermaine Ojegma from The Rake, and I'm inviting you to come out and escape The Rake. The Rake is the hot spot in town for big group events and kid birthday parties. We now have a karaoke room and retro skate night every Friday night. Visit skatetherink.com to learn more and let the good time roll at the rink. All right, we're back here at Snow Canyon. Got three goose eggs for the top of the innings by the Tigers. Good pitching performance so far by Gibb of the Warriors. He's held him uh, not hitless, but he has held him scoreless. And uh, again, 10 to nothing here. And the Warriors looking to add on to it here in the bottom of the third. Got into a little bit of trouble last inning, Gibb, uh, but was able to get out of it with uh, no runs scored. So uh, it was good to see him come back and get a couple of those Ks after that double. Raditz sets, delivers, swing and a miss. Nice pitch by the junior. Junior, he's a sophomore. What oh, is he a sophomore? Yeah, yeah, sorry. I knew he was an underclassman, but yeah, sophomore. Thank you, Keith. He delivers again. Hafen with a little floater, and it's going to find some grass. I'll tell you, when the baseball gods like you, they like you. Boy, that looked like your nine iron right there. Just a nice little loft yeah. on the right spot on the green, and he landed it. And it, and it just stuck, too. It had a little backspin yeah. to it. Drew it back towards the hole. I like that. And that's tough because Raditz's slider, his, <laughs> his slider's been so good tonight, and there's just been so many little yep. tiny hits that have just found a hole. Just so unlucky. Back to the top of the order for the Warriors, Mikhail Swenson. Raditz getting the signals from the catcher. He's settled on one. He sets, delivers, off speed, strike one. And it looks like he's going heavy with that slider now. I mean, it's definitely his best pitch that we've seen him throw tonight. So I would just live off of that slider and then try and get people jammed with the fastball later. Just pitch backwards at this point. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Radis looked at Hafen over at first. Delivers. Oh, caught the corner for strike two. See, that's what he's got to do is mix it up, keep him off balance. I think you're right. Mm -hmm. He's got to go off speed, off speed, and then pop a fast one. Just hoping to slip it by him. Yep. Let's see what he goes with here. I'm thinking off speed. It is. Ooh. Good. Just misses for ball one. Good pitch right there. Yeah. Uh, I wonder if he catches that back behind home plate if we get a, yeah. a strike three call right there. I kind of thought the same thing, Cannon. If the catcher squeezes that and doesn't drop it, he might get that call. But here we go. Raditz. Sets, delivers, off speed again. Oh, diving attempt by the shortstop, but it is a single. Actually, he's going to stretch that out to a double. We got runners on second and third, no outs. Warriors looking to add more. Good effort by Pierce. We just missed it on our camera, but I mean, he was only about maybe six inches away from, from yeah. bringing that ball in for an out. It was a great attempt. Well, and just unfortunate too, after he had missed it, it yeah. hit the gap and it just opened up everything. But that was a rope as he got his arms around through that one. Swenson, he's hot at the plate tonight, two, two for three. Now we got Damon Ants up. Lefty. Again, runners on second and third. He's got a couple RBI opportunities out there. Pitches low, ball one. Again, we're looking for our AWP playmaker play of the game. If Pearson would have made that catch, that would have been a high on the nominee list mm -hmm. for our AWP playmaker play of the game for sure. Or maybe even our Mountain Land Supply defensive play of the game. We'll be handing out those awards after the game. Raditz delivers. High ball two. Slips by the catcher, but not far enough for the runners to advance. Right, right, 
And again, if you're joining us on the radio, thank you for listening. If you're watching on our stream on the Fan Sports Network website, again, thank you for joining us tonight. But I got to tell you, it would probably have been better live here because it's a beautiful night. Pitch up high for ball three. Three and all the count. Well, he's got to be real careful here as Ants, he's put the bat on the ball. He flew out deep to center field. His first time got a, ripped a single last time. Mm -hmm. This could bring two more runs in here, so be real careful if you're Raditz. Yeah, he's, Off the plate, ball four. He's like, I don't want to mess with this. Now they got a force again, at any base, so. But again, um, you know, the same thing with with uh, Gibb. You know, you've got a 10-run lead. We said pound the zone. And at this point, as the Tigers pitchers, they got to kind of take that same uh, mentality, don't they? Just, you know, we're down 10 and nothing. We have nothing to lose, really. Let's just pound the zone. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And that's Hurricane's pitching coach heading out there to talk to him right now. And that's probably what he's, what he's doing, just telling him, hey, man, just settle down, relax. I mean, what I would be telling him is, hey, your slider is your best pitch. Let's mm -hmm. let's go with that, and let's start working backwards. I mean, even even for a, a strike, his slider is his best pitch as of right now. He's thrown he's thrown up a lot of them for strikes. His fastball has been missing up and out a little bit. So I'm I'm working backwards this yeah. whole time. And that, that mound meeting brought to you by Uting Associates for great service and rates on home, auto, or life insurance. Call Luke today at four three. 251-9102 for a free quote to see how much you can save. And that walk, it does load the bases and give you force outs everywhere, but it also brings up the three-hole Ryder Harrison who is been the best hitter for <laughs> Snow Canyon the past four years. Yeah, if you're the Tiger, this is the guy that you don't want at the plate right now. Well, Harrison takes low ball one. And I don't want to disappoint people at home. He's already got two hits tonight, yeah. a double and a single. So. Well, Warrior Warrior fans are like, yick, yes, and Tiger fans, you might be disappointing them at home. No, that's true. Hey, Harrison, lefty, stands in there. Raditz takes a deep breath, delivers, off-speed, strike. And there's that slider. He's He's been able to locate that thing. So I would just keep going with that. It is a little bit tougher with a lefty up at the plate. But if you can get a couple backdoor sliders on uh, Ryder's back foot, that can be a tough pitch to hit. Raditz delivers. Oh, just foul down the third baseline. That was a rope line drive that just was about a foot foul. He got lucky there. That He tried to sneak the fastball past him and... Harrison was he was right on it, just a shade, just just a shade behind it, or else he probably would have had two extra runs bringing in there. But that was a hard, fabulous Freddy's foul ball right there, hard hit. Up high, four ball. Yeah, that last one was hit really well, and once again, that's how Harrison hits. I mean, you can see the outfielder. You can't see it on the broadcast, but if you look yeah. out in the left field, he's about 20 feet away he from is. that foul line because that's where Ryder loves to hit the ball. Radish delivers. Oh, line drive over the first baseman's glove for a hit. That's going to score one just station to station right there for the Warriors. Um, Cannon, you'd know this probably better than anybody being part of the Warrior uh, baseball program for so long. Um, with your dad, the coach, you're up 11 to nothing. Is that kind of, was that station to station on purpose? Um, no, I think because you never want to take away you never want to take away someone's RBI opportunities. Um, so when it comes to a pass ball or something yeah you might not move up there but if someone hits a double you're not going to stop and okay. keep it at a single just sure. because you don't want to pull those rbis away uh that one i don't know maybe he just thought that it would would have been too close at home with nobody out as well that's so. true too yep well he hit us up there quickly so they were able to get the ball in fairly quick so i think it was smart just keeping them there Seacrest takes a strike base is loaded no out still Warriors have already added to their 10 to nothing score here in the bottom of the third to make it 11 to nothing. 
Well, you know it's a good night when you have just about as many hits as you do runs. Man, so. that's for sure. Yeah, 11 runs, 12 hits for the Warriors. See Chris Fowl ball up and over us here. We're on the first base side, right behind the home dugout. To that last pitch right there, Cannon, that's where he needs to be almost every mm -hmm. pitch. Make them adjust to that off speed and quit trying to do the fastball as much. Yeah. Oh, oh, to the that count. slider has good break and it gets people off balance as we saw on that last swing. There it is. Pitch. Right there. Oh, got him looking for strike three. Great pitch. Yeah, just a good oh. one. I mean, you saw you saw Cruz's foot yep. was he was way out in front of it, and it just kind of froze him up yep. a little bit. It's a good slider. He has a really great slider. He just needs to to trust it a little bit more than he is, and we're kind of seeing him do that as the game goes on. Hayden Smith stepping in now for the Warriors. That's what I love about this Warrior lineup, though. You know, you get one guy out and another great hitter steps right back in, keeps the pressure on the defense and the pitcher, really the entire lineup. Raddus delivers, staying with that off speed. Called strike on Smith. See what he's got to do, and he's starting to do it now. They're, Snow Canyon's going to have to adjust to that. Mm -hmm. And until they do, I would just keep calling that over and over. And start nibbling outside the corner, you know, that so they start pulling the zone away from it. Radis delivers yep. outside for a ball. And the umpire's given him that outside corner, yeah. too. He's given him maybe a ball, ball and a half off. So if he's going to give that to you, take advantage of that. And that slider is so hard to hit, especially when he's giving you that much off the plate. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Again, Smith just waiting patiently. Raditz. Checks, winds up, delivers. Ooh, generous call out there. <laughs> that ball looked to be off the plate a little bit, but again, it's 11 to nothing. I'm sure the umpire's gonna widen that strike zone a little bit. One and two the count. Radis delivers. Ball two, two and two. Did you, did you ever see that, uh, Cannon? You know, you're in a blowout game and the umpire just kind of opens up that that strike zone. Did you ever notice that as a pitcher? Yeah, I mean, not necessarily in high school and college as much. Sometimes you get an umpire that would do that, but for sure um, when I was playing uh, Little League or travel ball. Wow, great off-speed pitch there for a swing and a miss. Out number two. Well, that's back-to-back -back strikeouts. And again, he's utilizing the off-speed pitch, that slider that Cannon mentioned. It's got, it's got some nasty movement on it. It's got great lateral movement. And it's, it's just moving right out of the, right out of the way of these, uh, these Warriors bats. Well, they've still got the bases loaded here. He's almost pitched himself out of this jam, so. Tank Kelly steps in. Again, another great hitter that the Warriors just kind of have in their lineup. Raditz delivers outside. That gets past the catcher. And Mikhail is going to score easily for the Warriors. Boy, that's unfortunate if you're a Tiger fan. It's the catcher just caught the outside part of the glove and just skipped mm -hmm. away from him. And just like that, another run comes in. So now we're at 12 to 0. Yeah, Alanis just couldn't quite corral that one up, the Tigers catcher. He's so been now, having a pretty good game behind the plate so far. Yeah. I mean, Raddus delivers high ball two, two and zero. Oh. Runners on second and third. Two outs. Twelve to nothing right now. Bottom of the third. Warriors up on the Tigers. We're at Snow Canyon. Two zero count. Kelly looking to do some damage here. Yeah, green light right here. Ooh. And called strike that. And again, that just looks like it's really off of the plate, but I just think this umpire's kind of opened up the zone a little bit with it being 12 to nothing. Well, you saw Kelly's face. He's like, oh, I'm not so sure about that one, but he'll adjust. Raditz delivers, big swing, Ooh. foul ball down the 
third base side. Everybody gets out of the way a little bit. Your dad ever been hit down there in third base? I'm sure he's been hit a few times. I know he stands a little bit further back as he's gotten a little bit older. But <laughs> I mean, I think uh, I think when I was in high school and my older brother were in high school, he was a little bit closer. But yeah. he takes a step back because I don't think his reaction is as good as it used to be. As is uh, Raditz delivers. Oh, great off-speed pitch. Strikes him out for the third. <laughs> what a great pitch right here. Look at this on our Red Rock Real Estate replay. Wow. Tank. He was fooled. Well, that's th three strikeouts for yeah. the three outside inning. That's a great job by Raditz and only giving up the one run. So. Well, two runs. Or two runs, excuse yeah. me. Crooked numbers up there. Every bottom part of the inning here for the Warriors. Let's take a break. We'll come back for the top of the fourth. You're listening to the Fan Sports Network. Indulge in luxury at Outdoor Living. Join us at the St. George Parade of Homes this week. Discover our exquisite patio furniture showcased in select homes. Elevate your outdoor living space with us. Visit our showroom today. Oh, hello, Italian nightclub from Jimmy John's. Ciao, freshly baked bread piled with Italian-style meats. Hey, hand-sliced veggies. Am I obsessed with this sandwich? Yeah. So what if I am? Jimmy John's. Order online or on the app. Hey, it's Sheldon Demke. Check out the latest episode of What's on the Menu, a behind-the-scenes tour of local restaurants. We'll see some of their favorite dishes and get an inside look on how these dishes are prepared. Check out this week's episode at stgeorgenews.com and click the shows on the menu tab. We're here live at Snow Canyon. Warriors again having another great hitting night against the Tigers here. They're up 12 to nothing. We're going into the top of the fourth. Uh, something that the Tigers need to get doing. They need to score some runs, Keith. Yeah, they do. I mean, we're talking almost two full games with no runs. So, and and we're 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 bordering on the mercy rule here. I believe it's uh, is it Cannon? Is it ten after five? I believe it's nine after five. Is it nine five? after yeah. five? Okay. Yep. So there's uh, yeah, there's some work to be done here by the Tiger hitters for sure. And uh, looks like we got a new pitcher, Mark Trey Vaughn, is on yeah, the mound now. Trey Vaughn. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Right-handed, number seven here for the Warriors. I thought Gibb pitched really a great game. And, and one thing, again, that I will say, it's just one of those little things that I watch for pitchers. He had just great tempo. Yeah. Great tempo. As we look at his final stats, three innings pitched, one hit. It was the double off the yep. center field wall, which almost was close to be getting caught. Yeah. So yes. um, we had seven strikeouts and three walks. So, I mean, great outing by Gibb. As he goes on, you'd like to see those walks drop down to one because three walks for three innings, mm -hmm. you'd like to see that number go down a little bit. But yep. overall, a great start. Right. Oh, yeah. Uh, you got a double K, you know, strikeout to walk ratio. Yep. That, that's a great oh, yeah. night. For sure. Uh, Vaughn with his first pitch, high ball one to Staley. Head coach of the Tigers having a little conversation with the home plate umpire. Not quite sure what that was about. They're just discussing dinner plans. A little later. Tonight. Again, Keith, I've missed you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Vaughn sets, delivers. High ball out to center field. Looks like... He will camp underneath it and make the catch. Caleb Hafen out there in center field. But I tell you what, Mark, I know we had no clouds in the sky tonight, but that one would have brought rain. That was that up was there. that was up there, yeah, for sure. Hafen just camped.
watching the Warriors and Tigers here on the Fan Sports Network. From bold statements to subtle compliments, Wilkinson's House of Lighting will help you more fully enjoy all the different spaces in your home. Stop in and see what's new at Wilkinson's House of Lighting, a proud sponsor of Region 10 Athletics. Too. So he's like, it might happen. So D this is Parker. This is Jason with Team D Auto Sales, supporting local sports for over 20 years. That's two decades. Come to Team D Auto Sales at 488 East St. George Boulevard or TeamDAutoSales.com. Yeah, yeah. Team D, Team D. Check out this week's edition of TGIF on stgeorgenews.com. TGIF is your weekend adventure guide to all the fun and exciting things going on in southern Utah this weekend. Find this week's edition at stgeorgenews.com and click the shows on the menu tab. Have a blast this weekend. Red Ledge is Dermatology and Med Spa, specializing in general and cosmetic dermatology, treating acne, rashes, warts, and more. They even do cancer screenings and offer a free chemical pill with your first appointment. So if you need dermatology, think Red Ledge is Dermatology, located just off Snow Canyon Parkway, St. George. Welcome back, everybody. We're here at Snow Canyon High School. Um, and really quickly, Region 9 scores brought to you by Nets on Fire. Remember, a hoop at Nets from individual training to camps and more. See details at netsonfire.org. Uh, building champions on and off the court over at Crimson Cliffs. They have a 5 to nothing lead over the Desert Hills Thunder. And I'm going to just check the Dixie score here. And they are up 15 to nothing over the Reds right now. And again, that's brought to you by Nets on Fire. Not the score, but just the score update. <laughs> so anyway, some, some uh, again, explosive offenses highlighting this Wednesday night in Region 9. Well, you never know what you're going to get, Mark, as the region is pretty, you know, there's a lot of good talent, even at Hurricane and Cedar. And so when somebody gets hot, they can yeah. get hot, and it's, it's very contagious, and teams can heat up quickly. And we're seeing that in some of these big scores. Rally's going to lead off for the Warriors. Tall right-hander. Raddatz still in pitching for the Tigers. He delivers off speed. Low ball one. Actually, Mark, we got uh, Taylor Nolan now. Oh, yeah. Around. Boy, he looks very similar. He's a Thank young, you for catching yeah, that, He's Keith. a sophomore also, so he's getting Wow, some... a lot of young arms on this Tiger staff. Yeah. And, you know, he got the memo coming in the game as he throws a first pitch slider. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, swing and a miss by Rowley. Is it Rowley or Rowley? Would you know, Cannon? It's Rowley, yeah. Rowley, okay, yep. thank you. Wasn't quite sure. Oh, another swing and a miss by Rowley. That pitch was uh, down. Great place to live if you're a pitcher. Just disappeared right there. Low slider. Looked like it's going to be down around the knees and just drops off. Caught him fishing. That's a nice pitch. Delivers inside. Ball two. That one had some good two-seam move. I'm not sure if that was a changeup or a fastball, but whatever it was, it came back into Rowley. Yeah. Nolan sets, delivers outside ball three, just off the plate. I'll give him this, Rowley, Rowley, excuse me. He just said Rowley, though, I think too. I messed it up, too. I'm trying to read it down here, I'm, all I'm just saying whatever. I'm so. all confused now. Rowley? I ask him what it was, and then he says the opposite <laughs> 10 seconds later. I don't know what's going on. Come on, Cannon. <laughs> Nolan delivers. Got it. Check swing. Got him, though. Now, I don't know if that was on the check swing or the location. I think the location, it was over the inside part there. That was a nice pitch. Because he certainly didn't. It wasn't a – he, he didn't didn't swing, I don't yeah. think. Just a little tiny check swing. I don't think he went around, but it must have been location. It had to have been. Boy, Mark, as hot as the Snow Canyon team's I mean, been. If you watch right here on our Red Rock Real Estate replay, boy, just caught the corner. That's a yeah. good pitch. Yeah. That's four straight Ks now yeah. for the Tigers. For the Tigers. Yeah. Right. Nolan looks to make it five against Andrew Lyon. Tough out. And that's a called strike. And that was a the, the strikeout pitch. That was a fastball. That's got some good two-seam life mm -hmm. on it. That's a tough pitch to hit when you're pairing that up with a good slider. So. Yeah. Nolan delivers to Lyon. Got him right in the square of the back. Oh, 
Yeah, that was off speed. You're okay. He's all right. He's running down there. Yeah. Anytime they take a step and stop, that's when you get a little bit nervous. I know. <laughs> like, uh, I don't think you want to do that. Yeah. Hafen steps in now, center fielder for the Warriors. Lefty. Big hole over here with them holding on. Lion. So as a left-hander, boy, if you could pull a ground ball, line drive, you're more than likely going to get on base. Nolan delivers. Oh, second straight one. Hit. That one hurt. I think that got his ankle. Yeah, I heard that one through the window, and it's closed. That was that was. Not Let's watch nice. here in our Red Rock Real Estate replay. I can't really I tell. I think it might have been the back of the knee. Looks oh. like that's what he's holding. Like the side or the back. Games oh, yeah. for sure. Definitely my favorite sport. I know it's your favorite yeah. sport too. And it's Cannon's favorite sport as well. I like soccer. Oh, <laughs> oh my. You can leave anytime. <laughs> Sorry, our soccer fans. Uh, swing and a miss by Mikhail Swenson. Uh, back to the top of the order again for the Warriors. Nolan sets, steps off the rubber. And Swenson steps out of the box. This is Swenson's fourth at bat on the night. He's got a couple knocks under his belt already. Nolan staring down the runner at second. Now he's coming to the plate. Off speed, big swing by Swenson. Fouls it up and over our building here. Boy, Nolan takes a big leg kick after, you know, being in the stretch there. And mm -hmm. if it, you know, those runners could take off and get, swipe the bag before it almost crosses the plate. One out here, bottom of the fourth. Runners on first and second. Nolan delivers just off the plate. Ball one. And I'm a big believer. I've always, whenever I pitched, anytime I was thrown out of the stretch, I was always in a slide step. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Because the quicker I could get the ball to my catcher, the better chance we had of getting the runner out. So if I was a sub one to the plate, no one really stole that. No one delivers. Nice pitch. Got him. It was a dropped third strike. Boy, he, that, that must be really breaking on him because Swenson didn't pick it up and it made yeah. him look really quite bad because that was in the dirt about three inches in front of him. Yep, no, no throw down to first needed since first base was occupied. Lefty Damon Entz now up to the plate. Nolan delivers off speed, strike one. That's kind of been their their go-to lately. Nice little get me over breaker. Like I said, it's a Snow Canyon team that hunts that fastball. That's a great first pitch to get yourself ahead in the count. Mm hmm And when you can throw it for strikes, that's the best scenario to have as a pitcher. Nolan delivers off the plate that time for ball one. One and one the count, two outs, two on. Warriors up 12 to nothing, looking to try to add to the lead here in the bottom of the fourth. You know, we haven't really talked about uh, the two losses that Snow Canyon's had on the year. They're both from Arizona schools, 6A schools. Mm -hmm. I mean, they've just been tearing the cover off the ball. And Nolan delivers off speed. Tur Speaking of Ends which. turns on the ball. And that's going to find 
the ground for a base hit. He's rounding second. He's going to hold up at second, scoring two on the double out in left field, right field. Couldn't quite see it. It was so far down there in the corner. Couldn't quite see what was going on down there. Just a high fly ball. Maybe misread a little bit by the, the right fielder. But that's going to score two for the Warriors. And you heard the Snow Canyon dugout get, thinking it was getting out. But uh, that's one thing about this Snow Canyon field. It's pretty short porch to mm -hmm. center, but those corners are deep. And it's tough to get a ball out if you hit it down the line. Yeah. What are the dimensions down the right field and left field line? Do you know? Ken? I, I don't remember. I want to say maybe somewhere around 345. Down the line. Yep. Yeah, that's a shot. But center field is, is where you want to stay. Light pole to light pole is what uh, what Coach Sechrist always, always preached, okay. especially on this field. Harrison takes a ball, one and one the count. Boy, Mark, it's good to have an insider. I know, dude. I love having <laughs> Ken. That's why I offered him a headset, because I knew he would be, you know, just making us sound better. Absolutely. Of course, we got to watch him. He'll be t wanting our head, you know, job here. <laughs> Beautiful line drive over the second baseman. That finds the gap, hits the wall. Right fielder having a hard time picking it. Harrison's going to stand up at second, do a little dance. That's After Harrison's the RBI. Fourth hit of the night. Two <laughs> doubles, two singles. He is uh, having a game, they would say, Keith. Cool that guy off. Give him a shower. Having a game. You can see it here in our Red Rock Real Estate replay. He stays back on that off speed and just hammers it. Seacrest here now, back up again, looking to redeem himself after his last A-B where he was uh, caught looking at strike three. Yeah, and I imagine he'll probably see a lot more off-speed again this at-bat, too. He starts him off there in a, a foul ball by Seacrest. Fabulous Freddie foul ball. Remember, Fabius Freddy's voted the best of Southern Utah for car wash, soda, and cookie, and sandwiches. I like cookies. <laughs> well, thank you, Mark. You betcha. <laughs> Nolan delivers to Seacrest on the outside corner for strike. There's that slider again. You got to take that pitch away for your crew. Uh, you know you're probably going to be getting it here. Crew 0 and 2 count. Nolan taking his time, del sets, delivers off speed crew, line drive to shortstop, and shortstop Pearson makes the play for out number three. But again, another crooked number put up in the bottom of the fourth for the Warriors. They score three more, 15 to nothing. We're going to come back, top of the fifth. Scooter's Coffee and Hurricane is the best way to start your day or get you through your day. From breakfast sandwiches to cinnamon rolls to amazing smoothies and, of course, coffee. Anytime is a good time to sip and smile Scooter's Coffee. Open seven days a week. Relatives coming to visit, not enough room, or maybe you're looking to host a family reunion and need a house with a pool. Well, Red Rock Vacation Rentals has got you covered. From two-bedroom condos to ten-bedroom luxury homes, they truly have something for everyone. Plan your perfect getaway or staycation. Visit stgeorgeutahvacationrentals.com. Asphalt. It's not something we think about much, except when it's in bad shape. At Holbrook Asphalt, we help cities, HOAs, and businesses avoid replacing painfully expensive roads and parking lots. To avoid the cost of replacing asphalt, you must effectively preserve it while it's still in good condition. University research has shown Holbrook Asphalt's HA5 slows asphalt aging by 67%. We make your pavement assets last longer, cost less to own, all while achieving higher property values. Visit HolbrookAsphalt.com. All right, we're back here at Snow Canyon. They've got a 15 to nothing lead over the Tigers. Tigers got three outs. They need, I believe, six runs to extend this inning. Now, hey, Desert Hills did that last night against the uh, Mustangs. They needed some runs to extend that to not get the mercy rule. They did. They scored six, actually. Um, ended up losing that game 15 to nine. But um, yeah, made Caden and Devin stay out late last night. <laughs> That's good for those boys. 
Tigers. They we'll, need a little extra innings. Yeah, we'll see if the Tigers can uh, can do that to the home crowd here and extend this game. But again, they need six to uh, to get it to the uh, bottom of the fifth. You know, Mark, but, I would just take six hits, you know, for, for the Tigers, give them a little yeah. life. But mm -hmm. it's been a rough night of the plate. Just the one double off the center field fence is all they've been able to generate yeah. so far. Yeah, and that was by the uh, starting pitcher, uh, McCauley, who hit that. Well, your approach if you're Hurricane right now is you're not going to go up there and hit a six-run home run and extend this game. Oh, so absolutely. Get one guy on at a time and start chipping away at that lead. Yep. Vaughn delivers. Ground ball to Kelly. Gets it. Throws it. He's out at first. Kelly's got a nice arm. That's why he's on the hot corner there. He's got a rifle. Get it across. Nicely played. You know, that's the difference that we've seen tonight, Mark, and I heard last night's game, too, is Hurricane just doesn't quite have the defensive skills to, mm -hmm. to keep the game close. Vaughn delivers high strike for strike one. Yeah, I mean, we take a look up at the scoreboard right now. There's only one air that's slotted for the Tigers, but there's definitely been yeah. at least three or four balls that they could have made a yeah. play on that they had a chance that they just didn't come up with. Well, even in that last inning, the hit down the right field line, it was mm -hmm. questionable about yes. whether it could have been caught or not. We've mm -hmm. seen that in left field, shortstop. We've seen a few. So, yeah, you're absolutely right. One and one the count. High ball to two and one, Vaughn. But if you're a good two team, Nolan. you know, you jump all over it and mm -hmm. take advantage of it. If they're not going to make the outs, you t make them pay. Nolan looks, ooh, I... Hmm. Okay, three and one the count. Boy, even Macy was calling a strike. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Vaughn delivers, called strike two. Full count here on Nolan. The folks at home are going, who's Macy? Yeah. Well, for those who don't know, that's Mark's wife. Yeah. Who joined us on the broadcast. Well, if you listen to uh, Foul Back, if you listen to From the Bleachers, uh, Caden and myself, four to six, uh, I talk about Macy quite often. Yeah, Macy. So they know. You might want to talk to your husband about that. <laughs> <laughs> Vaughn delivers inside, ball four. So the Tigers have a base runner. And they're hoping to build off of that. Like I said, just one at a time. Each got a got to handle bat, each at bat one at a time, and just slowly chip away at this lead. One swing is not going to do it. Yep, Coach Seacrest uh, going to have a little mound visit again. This mound visit brought to you by UD and Associates. What's he saying out there right now, Cannon? Um, I mean, we've kind of already talked about it a little bit. He's probably pointing out to the scoreboard saying, what does that number say under there? Is that a 15? We're up 15 <laughs> runs. Well, and you see we Don, don't, he's smiling. Yeah, out exactly. He's, making, joke, he's yeah. making jokes, but he's also saying, look, dude, just get the ball over the plate. Okay. I, rem I remember, now this is much younger baseball, but uh, the boys were probably uh, 11 or 12, and uh, we were up in Beaver, I believe, playing in the Beaver Bash. I'll bet you played in that tournament. I, th I think I did I a think little you bit. Did. Yep. But uh, I went out to talk to the pitcher, and I, I go out there, and I, I believe it was uh, Jacob Baldwin, um, I think, was actually pitching for us. Obviously, he's playing at Slick now, graduated last year on the state championship Mustang team. But uh, I went out there, and I was like, I was, and the infielders came in as well and I'm like you guys where are we going to lunch after this <laughs> I didn't talk any baseball I just wanted them to smile and have a little fun yep and that's what that's what you got to do as a head coach sometimes when you see your teams a little bit uptight a little bit tense maybe they're a little bit scared to be in a certain moment that it's probably not this moment right here but it's just like hey yeah. guys relax ease up a little bit yeah. we're, we're playing baseball everyone that's loves right. baseball if you're here Vaughn delivers fouled back strike oh and one the count yeah, we're at the top of the order for uh, the Hurricane Tigers, yep. and this is Pearson up to that. He struggled tonight with two Ks, mm -hmm. so he'd really like to get a shot here. Pearson back up the middle. Oh, he's going to be safe at first. Out at second. I, Crew, I think, probably should have just taken that solo. Yeah, I mean, it took him in a little bit towards second base. Yeah. He was already going that way. 
you just just finish that off yourself yeah. because and you're going to be able to make a much stronger yes. throw coming this way rather than momentum. flipping it exactly. Yeah. So, well, two outs. Tigers down to their last out here. Vaughn delivers high ball one. But I will say you'll take one out yeah. over none. Oh, for sure. <laughs> Absolutely. You know, when you take him out for his burger or whatever tonight after the game, you can talk to him. Yeah, him. exactly. McCauley swing and a miss. McCauley with the uh, lone hit for the Tigers tonight. Double off the center field wall. Big left-handed hitter. Vaughn delivers. Strike two. Yeah, got the Tigers' only hit on the game so yep. far. And it was hit well. Mm -hmm. Yes, it was. Hafen couldn't quite corral it up against the wall. Vaughn delivers. Foul ball. Fabulous Freddie foul ball. Boy, he ripped that one. He yeah, he out in front of it. Oh, was that off speed? It almost looked like it wasn't. He was around on that fastball quick, and I was like, wow. Yeah, he's definitely hunting that fastball. This is when, if you got to change up, break one off right here. Vaughn delivers. He does. He's got him. Good call. Off speed, strike three, swing and a miss. Warriors get the win. 15 to nothing here over the Tigers. Two really tough nights for the Tigers against the Warriors. We'll talk about that coming up in just a couple of minutes. Let's take a break. We're going to talk about our awards that we're going to hand out. We'll go over this kind of final thoughts of this game and maybe some uh, games around the region. When we come back, you're listening to the Fan Sports Network. Discover elegance at the Awning Company. Join us at the St. George Parade of Homes this week. See our exquisite awnings featured in select homes. Elevate your outdoor space with us. Call for a free quote today. Did you know that it costs less to maintain your equipment than to repair it? Yet 90% of breakdowns are caused by system neglect. Give your heating, cooling, and plumbing the care they deserve. For all your air conditioning and plumbing needs, turn to the experts. Hey, it's Marco from Coral Canyon Golf Course inviting you to play the course with the best backdrop in Southern Utah. Make sure you get out and experience great golf for a great price at Coral Canyon. Visit CoralCanyonGolfCourse.com or call us at 435-688-1700 for your tee times. Need an appliance or two? AWP's got you. Check out the remodeled expansive showroom highlighting the cafe series with colors like matte black, matte white, and modern glass. Make your kitchen stand out. Come see the local boys at AWP across the freeway from the Bloomington Walmart. We're back here live at Snow Canyon. Uh, kind of game guy got away from the Tigers really quickly. Uh, bottom of the first, the Warriors put up six runs. The bottom of the second, they put up four more. The bottom of the third, they put up two more. Bottom of the uh, fourth, they put up three more. A lot of crooked numbers the Warriors are putting up um, against the Tigers. So game number one against this team last night out in Hurricane, 24 to nothing. This game, 15 to nothing. Um, Keith, I'm going to go to you first. If you're Coach Pearson of the Tigers, uh, what do you tell your team as they're huddling down there beyond third base right now? Well, first of all, it's early in the season, okay? You just played two of the better teams within the region. Let's not get our heads hanging low. We've got a lot of baseball still to play. We saw some p positive things out there. If they can clean up the defensive mistakes, then uh, you're looking at, you know, being in some ball games. And, you know, they're still at five and five on the year, so they're, it's very respectable. Just continue to learn and grow and develop and become a better team by the end of the year. Yeah, and you're looking at, uh, if, if you're watching, on the Fan Sports Network, you're watching some of the highlights of the game. Um, Cannon, I'm going to go to you. You know the, the head coach of, of the Snow Canyon Warriors is good, if not better than anyone. So they're huddled down there beyond first base. You just got won 24 to nothing yesterday. You won 15 to nothing tonight. What is he telling his team down there? I mean, I think he's probably pretty proud of them. I mean, we had a 39 run differential in the uh, – in the series against Hurricane. But uh, like any good baseball player, whether you win or you lose, you have that short-term memory loss. 
and you're already on to the next game. Think about this one for a little bit, and then let's move on to the next game. They got some games this weekend that they're going to be playing, and then they're going to be heading right into uh, more region play coming into next week. I'm not 100% sure who they're playing, but um, that's kind of what they're thinking over there is who's next and how we're going to carry this over into the next game. There's probably a few things that he's saying, we could have done this better, we could have done that better, but for the most part, it's probably going to be a pretty quick meeting yeah. over there. Mm -hmm. Well, and the quality of their opponent next week, I think it's Desert Hills or Dixie, uh, one of the two. Who they play next? I think Di they have Dixie at the end of the year. I believe okay. that's the last, so it might be uh, it might be Desert Hills. Either way, the talent level is going to increase, mm -hmm. So, and the defensive skill set should be a little bit tougher. So, yeah, yeah, they'll, ha they'll have to be on their game, and, you know, I think you're spot on there. Yep, it's going to be tougher for them to scratch runs across uh, as the season goes on, as they got Hurricane in the first region week matchup, so um, it's only going to get tougher from yeah. here. And yep. Hurricane, it's only going to get easier from here. So I agree. So Energy Play, again, brought to you by Scooter's Coffee. Uh, you know, start your day at Scooter's. Amazing drinks served by amazing people, amazingly fast. Um on State Street in Hurricane. Uh, energy play of the game, you know, it, I would think that it would be one of those, maybe one of those doubles that uh, Snow Canyon extended, you know, from singles to doubles. They were very aggressive on the base pass. Anything, guy, anything stand out to you guys? No, I think you're absolutely right. We saw a couple of those where I think it was, was it uh, Kelly or Rowley? One of them mm -hmm. at the bottom half of the lineup. It was a definite single, and he just was nonstop. He yes. was going for two. So I really like to see that, uh, the aggressiveness on the base pass. I think it was uh, the Lion kid that, that did that in the first inning. Yeah. Kind of helped propel that inning along to where we, like, I think they got, what, six in that first inning? Yeah. So, yeah, that that's a great hustle play right there. Yeah, this post-game show brought to you by Johnson P. Pediatric, um, and this is the hit right here, yeah. Lion, in the left field. Yes, as he just takes this uh, this extra bag at second base uh, as the throw comes into third. Just Where, a heads up play. Yeah, it really was just great base running, and, and I think that's the energy play of the game. Uh, again, brought to you by Scooters. It was just you know very aggressive, but very smart base running mm -hmm. on the Warriors' part early on. Um, this post game show brought to you by Johnson Pediatrics. Doctor Cody makes your kids uh, tell right. At home, I, I don't know really what that means right there. But Johnson Pediatric. Feel right. Feel, feel right. right. we got to talk <laughs> to uh, uh, Caden or Devin and, and uh, spell things right, or I just can't read. <laughs> Johnson Pediatric always has new patient special cleaning exam and x-rays for just $79. Call 435-628-0511. That's Johnson Pediatrics. Let's talk about our defensive play of the game. It's got, for me, it's got to be that catch by Parker Selby, center fielder for the Tigers. And I think we have it right here on our replay. Um, you can see where how much ground he's going to cover there. And a little bit of Willie Mays right there catches it, stops, plants, and throws it back in. And uh, no damage done by that that uh, fly ball right there. Well, when that initially went off, I, th I, w I said on the broadcast, I said, oh, that's trouble. Mm -hmm. And uh, he got over there in enough time to, you know, basket catch that thing, make it look a little bit harder than it, what it really was maybe, but uh, a great play and uh, definitely worthy of the defensive play of the, w of the game. That's for sure. Now, you know, our, our playmaker play of the game, our AWP playmaker play of the game, Oh, can I be lazy and just kind of give it to the same play? Because it was a great play. Yeah. I mean, it was in the gap. We'll see some I think all of us. this play. Come on, Mark. We got to do it. Here, Mark, I'll, other I'll, get play. You, I'll get you one. We had, I don't know if this is better, but okay, let's this see is here. a nice sliding play by Mikhail Swenson oh, out there in right for yeah. Snow Canyon. Okay. Calm, so, cool, and collective, Mikhail. Beautiful. That was a smooth play out there in right field by Mikhail Swenson. I got, I got you. Thank you, Cannon. Thank <laughs> you. And, again, this is why we are a five-person team here. <laughs> Six-person team, really. We're taking, um, we're taking applications, too. Absolutely <laughs> we are. I Yeah. Uh, definitely on my way out. Um, <laughs> anyway, st <laughs> that's going to be our AWP Playmaker Play of the Game. Thank you, Cannon, for that. Our star of the game brought to you by Finley Subaru. Go see the all-star lineup on the saving side of the freeway or check all the great deals at FinleySubaru.com. Who are we thinking for our star of the game? 
I mean, you can go one of two ways. You can either give it to the pitcher Dewey Gibb, giving up just one hit, yeah. um, or you could go and give it to Ryder Harrison. Yeah. I mean, he just absolutely swung it the bat tonight. I mean, he had he went four for four. He had uh, he scored two runs. He had three RBIs. Uh, just. He's a my tough brother. out. As, yeah. Yeah. My, my too. Threw well, but Ryder just as, wrote the ball. Yeah. As much as I love pitching, I love hitting more. So let's go Ryder. All right. Let's go Ryder. And our our sub of the game brought to you by Jersey Mike's. They are a sub above the rest. Uh, get it at the Mike's Way. Stop by the St. George Jersey Mike's today. Um, sub of the game. I'm not sure. Um, I would probably go with Trayvon. I'm looking at uh, Snow Canyon's lineup. It doesn't look as if they had anyone sub in on uh, the hitting side of things. So I'm going to go with Trayvon, the sophomore, coming in to close it out there. Uh, two innings pitched, one strikeout. Uh, he just looked pretty good up there tonight. He was throwing hard, too, and that's a big to see from a sophomore. And, and I can certainly get behind that, too, too. But special mention to Nolan, who came in for the Tigers, struck out the side. Um, from a, of a very good warrior hitting team. Um, so honorable mention to Nolan as well, who came in on the bump for the Tigers. Any final thoughts, Keith Cannon? Let's wrap this thing up. Let's wrap it up. Just a, a quick update. Um, Desert Hills took the lead against the Mustangs 6-5 to five, the last I checked. And uh, that was just a few minutes ago. And also Dixie ends up winning over Cedar 15 to nothing. So, again, another one of those mercy rules over across town at Dixie. And again here, one more time, it was... 15? 15. 15 to nothing. Uh, Warriors get the win over the Tigers. For Keith, for Cannon, for Connor, for Macy, for Cannon's gal here. Raquel. Raquel, thank My you. Wife. Sorry, Raquel's. <laughs> Raquel, I, I'm an old person and I have old person memory. I'm surprised you didn't ask so, me for my padded chair, well, honestly. Well, you know, <laughs> I, I got to give you something, that's for sure. You're the alum um, here, so you get the padded chair. <laughs> Macy's giving us the. 15, we're done here. 15 to nothing, Warriors get the win. Thank you for listening to the Fan Sports Network. He's done. <laughs> and and. <laughs>